Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla podcast. I'm doing this podcast actually through a new format, through my smartphone. I've been thinking about it for a while where uh, everything I've done before, I've done it through my own computer, which has a little mini like video studio of some sort. But I quickly realized that I needed to have something that was more mobile, something that I could do if I'm away from my computer, especially on vacation, because of course the things are again going to get pretty pretty fast when it comes to the latest Godzilla stuff, the closer we get to the movie, so I want to make certain that I'm able to report everything here for everybody. So if, uh, I'm using a program called Cute Cut. Uh, I know it's a weird name, but it's free and it's available and it allows me to do things on my smartphone in terms of making these videos. So if you see that Cute Cut logo on the bottom right hand corner, just um, just ignore it or Actually, it's a really great program if, if you're doing for do something like this. I highly recommend it, so it works out pretty well. So anyways, um, I wanted to create a mobile video uh, with regards to the reaction so far to the Godzilla trailer and how it's been released now for a few days and people's thoughts on there. Um, all around, it seems to have a pretty positive review. Uh, multiple, multiple places on the Internet are stating that the trailer looks mysterious it looks very cryptic, it looks very nice, um, very haunting, quite different from something in terms of the 1998 film. A lot of people love it, um, a lot of good reactions from multiple fan sites. And then I wanted to acknowledge uh, one of the key aspects, which is how are the uh, Japanese fans reacting to this trailer as well. And so Kotaku.com has a very good listing of some of the reactions that fans have pasted, have, uh, the Japanese fans have pasted on the number one forum in Japan. And I had chronicled this a while back when I was talking about fans reactions to the Godzilla design, the original leak. And now here are some more reactions to the trailer. So I'm going to quote some of the items that they're listed on there. Some of these quotes are quite funny, others, again, don't really make much sense, but just like uh, with regards to the other uh, trailer, uh, the other movie when I was talking about the reactions to the leaked design, sometimes it's just a cultural difference, so if anything sounds a little funny on there, but if anyone knows that really in that culture it means something else, let me know or post it below on the comments and that way you can share it with anybody. So one of the first comments that somebody posted, and again this is on the forum called 2CH, which seems to be the largest uh, forum within Japan. It says, I can look forward to this more than tuna eating Godzilla from before. So that's, you know, that's not too bad. Somebody asked, is this CG, a man in suit? That's kind of a compliment because, again, it clearly that this movie is going to use everything in CG, but the stuff so far looks so photorealistic that it looks like it's literally a man in suit. Someone else posted Godzilla is huge, which is very true, um, just based on the size of the monster within the film itself. It is absolutely the biggest Godzilla we'll ever see on there. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what the official measurements are going to be. Somebody posted this bad comment. They said, this looks like a rental. I don't know, but uh, it's, it's way too early to post something like that. But anyways, that's someone's opinion on there. Uh, another one mentioned, you know, I wonder what Ken Watanabe's role is. Um, Ken, of course, will have some kind of uh, role within the film. And no doubt it's there to make sure that it's appealing to all of the Japanese and uh, Asian fans that are out there because again the large market for these films now in the US is overseas uh, films like Pacific Rim are a perfect example they're making uh, three or four times as much money overseas uh, than anything here in the US so it'll definitely having Ken Watanabe in there will definitely bring up the the uh, box office somebody said uh, this seems kinda interesting but who's the director um, I guess, you know, there hasn't been much communication there in Japan in terms of who the director is on there. Uh, somebody else said, this stinks of Cloverfield. Um, I guess they're kind of right on that part in that it seems to be much more of a... It's not a straight 100% like point of view shot like Cloverfield, but like I mentioned in multiple other videos, it seems to be more of a personal approach where it's more like War of the Worlds, where instead of having... 
it be uh, like Independence Day where it's a global approach here it's based on a family and that's where I think they're getting it from on there just like in Cloverfield it's based on a few uh, yuppies getting all together and having that happen in New York um, what else somebody else says Gypsy Danger is huge Godzilla wouldn't win I don't know exactly if they saw the right trailer to say something like that uh, somebody said, I'm looking forward to this. I'm just happy to see a new Godzilla movie. Japan ain't making them, which we'll see in a little bit because, again, there was a previous news that, uh, it looks like Toho, although now it's a little suspect considering that it's only one of the producers saying, you know, really Toho, but we'll see. But apparently there's going to be a, again, that Godzilla sequel featuring Hedera again. Um, somebody else correctly stated they'll probably say Godzilla was created from Fukushima's radioactive events. Again, we've had multiple, multiple uh, instances where Frank Darabont and other writers have acknowledged that part of, or much of the story will occur because of mankind's, um, I guess, greed when it comes to science and pushing the boundaries when it comes to uh, science and some of the natural not natural but unnatural disasters that have occurred because of this so we'll definitely something like that <laughs> somebody else said whoa godzilla looks like godzilla which is true uh this of course is what appeased so many godzilla fans is that it looks like godzilla uh this other person said the last one i.e referring to the 1998 film felt like jurassic park this one seems like cloverfield again stating what i mentioned before about the personal approach on there Somebody then asked, but it eats tuna, right? Of course, making a offhanded remark to the Matthew Broderick character and one of the most infamous scenes within the Godzilla film. So anyways, um, that's it's a good showcasing of essentially what's going to be the reaction from the Japanese fans out there and... Um, based again, of course, on everything involving the internets and all the reaction, the positive reaction thus far, uh, Legendary and Warner Brothers, they all seem to have a, a good following on this. Um, and I'm glad uh, everyone else has mentioned on my other video how people seen the trailer at the Thor, I'm sorry, at the Lord of the Rings screening, how they reacted. Multiple people have mentioned that people have clapped at the end of the trailer, so it looks like this will definitely be a breath of fresh air that people want to see Godzilla again and that this definitely took them by surprise so very very good stuff all right everybody thanks again as always take care bye